everyone. Welcome to another very exciting edition of Finance Friday. And we're going to have an interesting conversation today, very different from the ones we've had before, with two young moms. Just to make a quick introduction, we have with us Madhika. Madhika works with Risk Advisory at Deloitte and is a new mom. And she's going to talk to us more about it. Uh, Shweta works at the CEO's office at Stride Pharma and is a mom to a young toddler, both girls. And I think this is going to be a fun conversation for me. And I hope it's uh, equally fun for you. Before we get started, Madhika, how has your experience been being a new mom with the maternity break and all of that? Sure. Um, it's actually been great so far. Um, it was kind of challenging in the beginning because you're still trying to figure out how does it work with you know a newborn and then you're trying to figure out obviously finances. Um, I took the time during pregnancy actually to plan my finances. Um, okay. for the new mom because um, at that point I had a few conversations with other moms um, conversations with my husband obviously and we knew that uh, the good thing about having a child is you know exactly around the time when the child is going to yeah. arrive so that gives you at least about like an 8 to 9 month runway to sort of plan yeah. and yeah. finance so um, that's, that actually was what uh, we used that time to sort of help to sort out our finances and everything and uh, after that, but then again, you don't know how much hits you when the baby actually comes. Yeah. Um, so what that what changed from what you perceived it would be to what it actually? So we, we knew that there would be hospital related expenses. Yeah. We knew that you know we had to get some basic stuff for the baby. Like we knew uh, we needed you know a place to sort of have the baby like a crib and you know a bunch yeah. of other things, baby related items. I just put it under that broad umbrella. Um, but we didn't know that all of the stuff was, was expensive. We were like, okay, each of the stuff costs a ton of money. Yeah. And after the baby arrives, while like the hospital expenses is fixed, you deliver and the hospital gives you a quote and all of that gets yeah. done. After the baby arrives in the first three to four months, there are like a ton of hospital visits with the newborn. And, you know, there's a lot of things going on. You are settling down, the baby is settling down. So there are a lot of related expenses that just start to add up. Yeah. So that was something that we weren't too prepared for. Um, so obviously we knew that um, even I was on a paid maternity yeah. right? Yeah. So that really helped us. But uh, you never know un until it actually hits you how much yeah. of expenses you actually tend to. No, that's very interesting because yeah, I think we obviously I'm not a mom, but yeah, I'm a, what I hear from your experience and other moms that. You do plan for A, B, C, but yeah. then there are those X, Y, Z items so that many other come things. up and you're not prepared yeah. for that. Shweta, how is it with you and what's it like now? So, when I learned that I was expecting, one of the first conversations I had with my husband was around finances as well. Uh, one of the things that uh, we actually realized during that phase was a lot of people tell you that there are 10,000 things that are absolutely important and necessary for your pregnancy and uh, when child happens and yeah. so on, we also realized that at some point in time you need to figure out what is it that you really want and the rest is fluff. Yeah. Right? What is your priority? Right. So uh, I have I have a cousin who's a doctor. I was talking to her that I'd gone to hospitals asking them for like rates and so on, and they gave me X Y Z rates and so on. So she said all of them are basically trying to make money out of a very important phase of your life. Yeah. yeah. That's the sense she gave me. She gave me two very important pieces of advice. One was you can actually negotiate with your hospital provider on the package that they give you. Oh, okay. So we were we basically did that because she told us we could. I didn't yeah. know we could. Yeah. So we negotiated with her with the hospital provider. We actually got an upgrade on a package oh. that they had offered us. So we got a lot of perks and stuff for a lower price package. Nice. I think I've not heard of That's that before, but yeah, me neither. So yeah. that was one thing that she told us. The other thing we also realized that you don't need to invest in everything that you think a baby needs. Yeah. So, um, All at once. Not even that. So for example, when the baby comes, obviously you want to buy the best XYZ yeah. for yeah. the baby and you're always trying to figure out what is the best thing. Should I be getting a crib? Should I be getting, should, will the baby be sleeping with me? Uh, should I be getting the best clothes from Carter's and all of these fancy yeah. brands that yeah. you are about? So because you obviously want the best for your baby, right? Yeah. And you're trying to think 
what is the test this and test that. And then at some point of time, it gets you that none of it really matters. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, and the reason why is that, that best is not really for the baby, it's because of your perception of how you want the baby to be. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. we're getting that piece now that it's okay if my baby is not wearing a part of it, he's wearing a XYZ local brand or whatever. Yeah. Okay, till the time my baby looks good in my eyes, I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, and so on and so forth, you start making those decisions for a lot of other baby related events. And what I realized is by doing that, I was able to put away money for things that actually mattered, mattered. for right. the baby. Yeah, right? So I agree. We did the same thing too. And what we did was we, we took a lot of like hand me down stuff from friends. Which I yes. told yeah. a lot of yeah. friends that, you know, all baby related stuff, not just clothes, but even other stuff like um, stroller. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like a stroller or a car seat or a
15 16 yeah. months yeah. so we've not had any big big hit expenses except for like the baby related stuff right. but that settles down in like 2 months 2 3 months or so so um, we've put away a lot of money and my advice to a lot of new parents to be uh, new parents or parents to be is that uh, the 6 month maternity leave that you get save or invest as much as uh, money you can during that time because yeah. you don't know if you'll be taking a sabbatical or you will be going back on say reduced schedule reduced pay right i'm doing that myself so uh, any loss of pay will actually start hitting your bank account so use the time during pregnancy and during your maternity leave to plan for uh, say an emergency fund of sorts yeah yeah in case you have to take a longer break which you'll be without pay so yeah in in your experience where yeah you are going on you're going back to work but on a reduced pay on a reduced pay but reduced my expenses have actually increased gone up. right yeah yeah um, you have to pay for diapers obviously yeah. <laughs> so um so yeah which is what i did during 6 months um now we have family staying with us we hired extra help so that means extra expenses costs yeah um but i think prudent planning and prudent spending during 6 months and even before that um has somewhat helped me take this call otherwise i may not even have been able to take this call financially so i think yeah of course enjoy your pregnancy but also use that time well to plan all that i think that's that. the best time to plan your finances because as you're starting a family that's something that you you should get in order for sure and yeah i think like you mentioned as well sure not using the time during maternity yeah yeah, yeah. is probably the best time to yeah get your finances in order right so one of the other things that i also realized like once maternity hits you what also hits you is the sense that you may not be around the baby for the rest of their life always but like right. that sense of mortality also oh, is yeah. overwhelming yeah. at that point in time so one of the things that you also did when i was trying to get a baby in the place was getting her name added to all our term insurance yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. so that which we also forget yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I hear you well. It's important that when you're having a child or even getting married, for that instance, add your spouse to your company provided insurances. And even if you do have insurances, otherwise, if you need to revisit your nominations, etc., please do that uh, at that point in time. So yeah, any parting notes? This has been a quick uh, fun chat for us. But any parting notes uh, that you would give young moms planning kids? what would you advise them to do um i would say take your time to decide when you want to have a baby first of all a lot maternity and parenthood is such a big responsibility that when it hits you if you're not prepared mentally financially yeah right and emotionally for the whole thing it can just be a roller coaster yeah start planning ahead as to what is it that you want in your life and how much you think it would take required that planning is really important a lot of times uh you don't really think about hospital expenses you don't really think about vaccination expenses or anything right yeah. but they seriously hit you when you're in the first year of the yeah, baby like you mentioned yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it hits you and that's like a cost you never even thought about correct right the other thing that i would say to this every time your heart feels like this is something my kids should like really have because it's so cute and it's so nice and then it's so attractive and there are always moments of weakness that happens right uh um, and my husband says i fall into them a lot more than i should so what we're starting now doing is if i really like this say something i just add it to my cart and not on okay uh-huh. and i hold come on back, to it hold on to it come back to it for two day, after two days and check if it's still really wanted yeah. right yeah. so that mind really so yeah. mindful purchases i mind think purchases. so and uh, i agree with you like uh, the first thing i think if you're planning to have a child um get all your finances be 100% transparent with your partner yeah. and uh, yeah. expect the same from them because uh, it's all you're going to start a family which means you should all be on the same page in terms yeah. of finances most 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us.